So we've looked at different types of real numbers. Now, how do you combine real numbers? Well, we're going to combine real numbers by using something called a binary operation. So a bicycle has two wheels. So a binary operation uses two numbers. And here's how it works. So let's look at addition. So for addition, we could take two real numbers, maybe two and three, and we can combine them using this idea of addition. And we use this plus sign to denote addition, and we would say that two plus three is five. Not very exciting, but there it is. This plus is a binary operation because it takes two numbers and produces another real number. Notice that uh, it works on real numbers to produce another real number. That idea uh, is related to something called closure, meaning that um, you take two real numbers and get back another real number with the binary operation. And we can do this with other types of real numbers. We could do it with, I don't know, three-fourths minus one-fourth. And we could say, okay, well, that's the same thing as two-fourths, which is the same thing as a half, but these are all real numbers. Okay, now this is a minus sign here. So you might be wondering, well, why do I have this under addition? Well, subtraction is really just like addition. Let me show you. 3 fourths minus 1 fourth, that's the same thing as 3 fourths plus negative 1 fourth. So we can think of subtraction as addition in a certain way. Um, so this, again, acts as a binary operation. Another binary operation you might be familiar with is multiplication. So for multiplication, we could take any two real numbers. Again, I'll maybe start with two and three. So we have two and we multiply it with three and we would get six. And this little dot here is what we use to represent multiplication. You also sometimes see it with parentheses, two times three is six, or with an X, although X is, uh, you tend to want to use more for variables, so it's probably best to avoid using an X for multiplication. You're better off sticking to parentheses or the dot if you have to. Um, and so multiplication here is another binary operation that starts with two real numbers and gives you back another real number. We can think of division as multiplication in a certain sense, uh, but we have to be careful because remember, we can't divide by zero. So as long as we're not dividing by zero, then we're okay. Let's look at another example. So we can actually make up our own binary operations as long as they're well-defined, meaning that uh, we can put any two numbers in there and understand what the uh, result would be. Uh, and we like it to be closed, meaning that it gives back another real number if we're talking about real numbers. So let's look at something like this. How about A star B? And we're going to call that A times B plus 2 all over 3. And when the A and the B are just placed next to each other like they are here, that implies multiplication. So let's look at some examples. How about, well, 2 star 3? So 2, and then I'll write a star here. 3. So the 2 is playing the role of the A, and the 3 is playing the role of the B. So if I look at this, that would be 2 times 3 plus 2 all over 3. Let's see what that would be. So this will be 2 times 3 is 6, so that would be 6 plus 2 all over 3. 6 plus 2 we know is 8, and so this is just 8 thirds. So you see how this works. We could do this with other real numbers. How about if we tried something with fractions? Try something that's maybe a little bit more exciting than just plain old uh, integers that we've been working with. Um, how about if we do 1 half and we'll star that with, oh, I don't know, how about 3 fourths? Let's see what this looks like. Okay. So now, remember the 1 half is playing the role of the A, the 3 fourths is playing the role of the B. So this would be 1 half times 3 fourths plus 2 all over 3, okay? 1 half times 3 fourths, well, we'll multiply fractions. We multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. So 3 times 1, that's 3. 4 times 2, that's 8, plus 2 all over 3. And if we would like to combine these, we would want a common denominator. So uh, one way to do this would be to just simplify the top first by making this have a common denominator of 8 and then adding them. Another thing you could do is multiply everything by 8. So if I multiply 3 eighths times
times 8, I would get 3. If I multiply 2 times 8, I get 16. And if I multiply 3 times 8, I get 24. So all I did was just multiply everything by 8. You're allowed to do that, multiply everything top and bottom by 8. Okay, 16 plus 3, well, that's 19. And then the bottom, that's 24, so we get 19 24ths.